the truth, and the mission that Jesus has given you. It's all perfectly clear the first time you hear from him, but as time goes on, it gets more fuzzy unless you have memorized the truth, unless you have hidden the truth in your heart and you think on it every day. There is so much noise and so many distractions that it's so easy to get confused and forget what Jesus has told you. You can't afford to become foggy-headed because time is too short. As children of God, we are to win souls to the kingdom of heaven. We are Jesus' soldiers, and we fight for Jesus until he calls us home or unless we die fighting. We are effective soldiers if we are daily standing on the side of truth, denying our flesh, living holy, pure, and righteous, staying separate from anything that doesn't please Jesus. We have to shine the light of Jesus so that the darkness is exposed in hopes that more may see and come into the light. If our focus is first on Jesus and we're working hard to please and obey the king, just as any good soldier would, then our mind is more clear and you won't forget your mission. Now, our mission may be different from person to person because Jesus is um, a relational God. He tailors his relationship to each person because obviously everyone's different and unique. One may be called to go out and evangelize. One might be called to make a lot of YouTube videos. One may be called to be a stay-at-home mom. That's what I am. I'm a stay-at-home mom. And often the devil uh, really tries to get me to feel like I'm not doing enough. You're not doing enough for the kingdom of heaven. And um, that's just his one of his ploys to make you feel inferior to God and you're not doing enough. And actually it'll get you to just compare yourself to other believers Um, beat yourself down, and um, you'll end up looking for other things to do in the name of Jesus, but you'll be neglecting the task, the mission he has given you. And uh, for me, my first job is to be a godly mother to my children. And if I'm looking for other things to do because I feel I need to do more for Jesus, then, um, and if I'm neglecting my, my mother job, then I am not doing what's obedient in the eyes of my king. And so to be a good soldier for Jesus is to first be a mom, um, a godly example. So whatever Jesus has specifically given you to do, you fight for Jesus as hard as you can. And you just go day by day listening to him and doing what he wants you to do. You have to daily take your thoughts captive and only think on what is true. You have to fill your mind with the things that are of God, not with the things of the world like entertainment, and that's books, movies, music, um, other people's opinions. All those things don't matter. They just end up distracting you and you'll quickly forget the truth that used to be so clear in your mind. So remember what you have heard, and don't forget the words of Jesus. They are the words of life. May Jesus bless you.